Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Arise Ministries. And last week, I did a message on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I talked about the gifts of revelation. And these gifts are the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, and discerning of spirits. If you have not watched the video, I just want to encourage you, go on the page, follow a rise, watch the video, you will definitely be blessed. Because the gifts of the spirit, they are so important for the church today. It is so important for us to know about these gifts. Hallelujah. And today I will be talking about the gifts of power. Glory to God. So the gifts of power are the gift of faith, working of miracles, and the gifts of healings. Hallelujah. And this message will be from 1 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 7 to 14. So bless your word, O oh Lord, gracious God. Thank you, Lord, for blessing somebody out there. Holy Spirit, thank you for being here with me. Hallelujah. For opening hearts out there that somebody will be blessed with this message to the glory and honor of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, so 1 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 7 say, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. These gifts are not yours. You don't earn them. These are gifts. They are not yours. These gifts are there to profit the church believers. Hallelujah. And verse 8 says, For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, nine to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit, ten to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another descending of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. And verse 11 says, but one and the same spirit works all things distributing to each one individually as he wills. So, the gift of faith. You don't need the gift of faith to operate in the word of wisdom or you don't need the gift of faith to operate in any of the gifts of the spirit because every gift is separate and distinct from one another hallelujah you don't need the gift of faith to operate in these gifts. All gifts are supernatural. You see, for example, you don't need the gift of faith to speak in tongues, to descend spirits. You don't, you, you don't need it. But you need faith. You need faith. Because the Bible says, with our faith, we cannot please God. Not the gift of faith, but we need faith. Every gift of the Spirit, every gift needs faith. But not the gift of faith, because it's a gift separate by itself. So you see here in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, 
for by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. So the general gift we have, it is a gift of God, but it is not the gift of faith. This gift of God, which I would just tell, you know, simple faith or, or general faith, it comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. This faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So this is saving faith because it takes faith to bring you to Jesus. But this is not the gift of faith. So the gift of faith in itself is God working on your behalf. And we see this gift in the Old Testament we see it operating through people who are in danger. So this gift of faith, those people, they call on the God and they did nothing, they just relax. No human hands, nothing were involved. It's God who was doing everything. Example here, example here is Elijah. Elijah was fed by ravens. Tell me, what did he do in that? He just believed God in all, and he was fed by raven. God instructed him what to do, and he believed what God said, and he, 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 what he did, he sat down. And he was fed. He wasn't involved in making the food. He wasn't involved. But you see, this gift brings miracle. This gift receives miracle. But this is not the working of miracles. But it receives miracle. Because the working, you see, working, working of miracles. You got hands, you got, we, uh, you know, the person is involved. Another example I will give here is Daniel. You see, Daniel was protected in the lion's den in Daniel 6. Daniel went to sleep with the lion's. And God manifested his power on his behalf. He did not do anything. That's the gift of faith. It's God who doing something. With all you touching, with all you doing anything, you just there relaxing. You receive something from God. Hallelujah. And Jesus spoke mightily in Matthew 8. Mighty words to the wind. And immediately it was calmed. You see, Jesus just spoke the word and he relaxed. And someone might say, oh, that's Jesus. <laughs> you see, Jesus he had to disrobe himself from his deity. And he came. He came down in flesh. Though he was 100% God and 100% man, but he operated in 100% man. Jesus too waited for the Holy Spirit.
Jesus did not do anything apart from the Holy Spirit. Though he was God when he was on this earth, but he waited for the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus Christ said here in John 14, verse 12, he said, More surely I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do it also. And greater works than these will he do, because I go to my Father. Jesus was on this earth when he was talking about it. Greater works. If Jesus was operating in his deity, why would he tell us greater works than these we would do? Only Jesus had the spirit without measure. Hallelujah. So let's go in the gift of the working of miracles. You see, the, the working of miracles is the power of God. You see, in the working of miracle, hands working were involved. This is supernatural. You see, when, when Jesus turned water into wine, what did Jesus say? He told them to fill the bearers with water. You see, men, hands were involved. The working of miracles. And, and the water was turned into wine. That's a miracle. Hallelujah. But Jesus here was not operating in the gift of faith. And we say, oh, that's Jesus. Yes, that's Jesus. What's about when Jesus fed 5,000 with Jesus fed 5,000 with just five loaves of bread and two fishes. That's a miracle. You see, Hima, Hima was involved. The bread, the fish, they all were involved. And Jesus performed miracle and it multiplies. Hallelujah. Jesus performed miracle. And it multiplies. Hallelujah. But in the Bible, there is an instant where we see these gifts were operating together. They, they are separate gifts. But when it comes to raising the dead, you will find these three gifts operating together. Because you see, to call somebody's spirit back in their body, you need the gift of faith because the gift of faith often operates when someone is in danger because you see all these miracle like uh, changing water into one there was no danger that was there 
Hallelujah. So we see in raising the dead, we need these three gifts to operate in that person. Because you are calling the spirit back in that person. So you need the gift of faith. And you see the body of Lazarus was already deteriorated. So you need the working of miracles because the body of Lazarus was involved. You need the working of miracles. And you need the gifts of healings because what Lazarus he was dead from needed to be healed. That sickness needed to be healed. So you see, those three gifts, they are separated, but they function in the dead person to raise the dead. Hallelujah. Now this takes me to the gifts of healings. So the gifts of healings, they, the Bible did not specify how many gifts. You see the gifts of healings. There are gifts within the healings. There, that's why you see all these gifts, the gifts here is plural because there are gifts within the healings. The only thing the Bible say here in Isaiah 53, 5, it says, by his stripes, we were healed. By his stripes, we were healed. But did not say how many gifts in the healings. But the good thing is, You can believe in God for yourself and be healed. You don't need the gift of faith to be healed. You can believe God for yourself. You can pray to God for yourself and be healed through the word of God. You can have this just general faith and be healed because the word of God is spirit and life. Hallelujah. And here it says, the greatest way to be healed is by you calling on God for yourself. Because you see the gifts of healing, not everybody will have all the gifts in the gifts of healings. So the greatest way for you to be healed is by you calling on God yourself using the word of God, believing in the word of God, believe in what you say and say what you believe. Hallelujah. Not everybody say gifts of healings. The only person that, that really had this gift on Jesus Christ or on this earth is only Jesus. He had all these gifts without measure. 
You see, that's why not everybody that will go to a crusade or not everybody that a man of God, woman of God will pray for will be healed. You say, but why? Yeah, because there are gifts within healings. That person will have three gifts within healings. Another person might have another gift within healings. That's why most people you see when they enter some way, people just getting out of the wheelchair. As soon as they enter, people just being healed. But other men of God will enter and everybody stay in the wheelchair. Nobody can be healed. But that man of God, probably when he enters somewhere, you see the blind eyes are open. Another man of God will enter, or woman of God will enter somewhere, you see arthritis, everything fleeing. But other person with all these things will go in a crusade, all, all of men of God, woman, woman of God will pray for them. And still, they will live and still feel that pain. You see, the Holy Spirit is the one who gave him these gifts. Even Paul never had all these gifts of healings. Only Jesus had these gifts with all measure. Hallelujah. And, you know, other people might be out there who struggling with something. A man of God, woman of God, pray for them. And they are not healed. They get disappointed. Don't be disappointed with anybody. You can pray for yourself and you can be healed. You see, God wants to be glorified. You can pray and use the word of God and believe in God and be healed. You don't need the gift of faith to pray for yourself. You see, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can pray for yourself and you can be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So these gifts, they are all supernatural and they are all distinct from one another. Hallelujah. But I want to pray for somebody out there. I want to pray and believe God with you. I want to pray and stand in agreement with you. What are you praying to God for? Are you praying to God for healing of your arthritis? I stand in agreement with you and declare healing on the arthritis in the name of Jesus. Are you praying to God because of high blood pressure, I stand in agreement with you. Keep praying with God. Keep praying to the Almighty God. I stand in agreement with you and I declare that blood pressure. I declare those numbers to be normal in the name of Jesus. Are you out there? Because you got a report of cancer. You crying to call, call why, why? Why me call? I pray in the name of Jesus. And I declare healing. Healing wherever that cancer is. I pray and cast out right now 
that spirit of cancer. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord be glorified. May Jesus be lifted. May Jesus be lifted and glorified. And before I leave, I, I just want to leave you with this advice. Unforgiving sin can hinder your healing. So if you have anything against somebody, forgive. Forgive. Hallelujah. Forgive. You can read 1 Corinthians chapter 11. It will tell you unforgiving sins can hinder your healings. Forgive. It may seem hard. But look at Jesus. He's our example. Thank you. And be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.